Here we are, and we're here to talk about Star Trek Prodigy. And you know what? I gotta say, this this series sucks. Now, I looked it up, and it got a very good rating. I don't know what people's tastes are in Star Trek nowadays, but when you look at what they're doing now, it's horrible. They have a million shows running right now. They have, I think, it's, what was it? Um, uh, we have Star Trek Discovery. We got um Star Trek Below Decks. We got this one I just mentioned, which was Star Trek Prodigy. Then we got the other one. I forgot what it was called. That's gonna that makes it a fourth one. You got Star Picard, which is a Star Trek show. That's a fifth one. How many Star Star Trek shows we're we gonna have? This one sticks. The graphics are well, you know, when you first watch it, you think its graphics um are pretty good. But then as you see certain characters like Captain Janeway, it makes it look like it was from a video game that was like 15 years ago. That's how out of whack it was. And, you know, the first, basically the whole very first episode, I watched the first three, the very first episode, there was just basically nothing to it at all. You didn't even know it was a Star Trek episode for a while. I don't care what people say. I They don't have to agree with me, but I think this show sucks. And, you know... It, it was cheaper too. That's why the Blu-ray was so far down there in price. When you go to buy Star Trek Below Decks, whatever the hell it's called, it's somewhat more decent, although they speak too fast and loud on and too way too fast and loud on it. But I, it's not a terrible show. This one is more of just, and you know why? It's all condensed down to be on Nickelodeon. If it's on Nickelodeon, they have to really, you know, take the flavor out of it so anybody can watch it. And I think that that's not right. The show stinks. Bye-bye.